hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to create a data table variable in power automate desktop so please watch this video till then so that you can understand it completely if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started in power automate desktop if you want to create a data table variable you have to go to the variables section and inside that you have to expand the data table and here you will find some activities which is create new data table insert row in data table find a replace in data table update data table item and delete row from the data table so these are few activities which have been added in the latest version of power automate so you can just go ahead and create a data table variable and do the manipulation or whatever the calculation you want to perform you can do that so to create a new data table you have to just double click on the create new data table and drag it to the workspace right and once you drop it you will get this window where it gives you an option that you can edit and in the edit you can you know kind of specify the column name so there are default two columns which is column one and column two and here you can if you want to rename this column you can just double click select all the text and then start typing that uh, column name will be renamed same thing we can do for column two as well so i can specify as last name right and if you want to add some value for this column you can just double click on it and then you can specify the name right double click again you can just specify the value and if you want if you have some variable you can click on this x icon and you can choose the variable if you want to dynamically populate the value of the data table row right here you can add you can click on this button to add one column right so you can just click on it the moment you click on it another column will be added right next to the last column which is in your data table right and if you double click again you can just come back and type the value of the new column and if you want to specify some you know some address or you want to uh, you want to specify some value for that uh, row you can just double click on it and specify it to delete a column you can just you know select the column and then press delete button it will be able to delete the column or if the delete button doesn't work you can right click on it and you can say delete column so that column will be deleted if you want to add a new row you can just click on this button you will get another row added in the data table you can double click on it and specify the value of it and if you want to delete a row you can just select the row and then press delete button that row will be deleted and then you can click on save the moment you save it you will see that there are two columns in this data table and one row and this is getting stored in the data table to variable you can click on save and then you can right click on it you can press run from here and you will see that your data table to uh, data table will have uh, one row and two columns in the flow variables section right so this is exactly what we have specified while creating a new data table and then you can click on close let's say you want to add uh, a row into the data table you can drag this action which is insert row in the data table you can choose the data table variable for us it is data table 2 so that we can choose from here and where do you want to you know add the this row you can specify the end of the data table which is the default behavior when you are trying to insert a row in the data table it will come in the last right and then you can specify the 
value that you want to you know insert in the data table to add a new row you can what what you can do is you can specify the double percentage sign right and inside that you can specify the square bracket and in the single quote you can specify your value so here let's say uh, you can specify the first name as Tom and the second name which is last name as Cruz right and then you can click on save now if I run this part it should be able to add the row if I go to the data table 2 here you can see that it has got some it has got the second row you know in the data table so this is how you can add row in the data table right I will click on save and let's say let's say you have two variables okay and that using that variable you want to specify you know you want to add the row so let's say the the variable name I'll give as first name and the first name will be Virat and the last name will be Kohli so I'll just specify the variable and here I'll give the value and then let's say I want to add another row in the data table for that I will choose the data table 2 and here I will specify double percentage and then I will specify the you know square bracket and from here I will choose the variable name which is first name and then another variable is last name and what I can do is I can remove this percentage sign because we have already wrapped it in the single pair of percentage so it should be able to identify it as a variable so I will right click on it and then I'll say run from here and then I'll run it and now if I go here you will see that it is able to add the row in the data table using the variable that you have already declared consider that if I open it and in the first name I specify the you know along with the percentage sign let's see what happens I am expecting it to throw an error and here you can see that it has specified or mentioned that parameter new values index error so basically you cannot uh, you know if you have already specified a single pair of percentage sign and then inside that if you are using a variable it is not necessary for you to mention you know uh, to specify again this pair of percentage sign you can just mention the name of the variable it will be able to parse it and will be able to grab the value given in that variable and then you can click on save so it will work and it will be able to add a new row with the value that you have specified in the variable this time the next is update your data table item and here again I'll have to you know choose the data table variable which is data table 2 here I can specify the column as 1 
and if you hover your mouse over this it says that you have, you have to specify the index of the column so I have index as 2 so it should be the last name and of the first row so I'll just mention 0 and what value we want to you know update there so this is the second column and first row and I want to write there as Johnson and then I will click on save I will put a breakpoint here I will right click from here and then start the bot and here as of now you can see that we have three rows and then the value is Mike Peter Tom Cruise and Vlad Kohli and the moment I will click on run next action you will come and see the changes here so in the second column of the first row it has updated the name as Johnson so this is how you can update the data table item as well right and think that you want to delete a row from the data table in that case you have to choose the you know data table which is data table 2 and you have to specify the index so let's say I want to delete the first row from the data table I'll put a breakpoint before running it and then I will right click on it and say run from here so my bot is going to run now it has inserted the rows updated the data table item and then now it is going to delete it so you can see it says two rows two columns and you see that it has deleted the first row which was there in the it has deleted the first row from the data table which has Mike and Johnson after updating the value of the column so this is how you can delete the row as well and consider that you want to find some you know value from the data table so you can come back here choose the data table name which is data table 2 you want to find so you can just choose the find you can also choose find and replace if this is what you're interested in if you want to find only one match you can disable it if you want to find all the matches you can enable it and let's say you want to find Virat in the data table okay if you do not want to find the value based on the case you can keep it disabled you can also use the you know regular expression to search the value you can disable it for now and then you can click on save so now I'm going to run the bot I will right click on it and say run from here so now my bot is going to delete the first row from the data table and then it will find the value and store the result in the data table matches so what I can do is I, this is my data table matches variable I can just open it I can see that it is found on the row which is having the index as 1 and the column index is 0 so it is basically giving you the index of the row and column based on which you will be able to get the actual value right so this is how you can work with the data table action in power automate desktop so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day